Hi guys, we're looking at day four, week one, and your DPI take home packet. So we're going to start off by reading 20 minutes, of course. And then while you're reading, I want you guys to write down the words with prefixes that you see in your reading. So just have your notebook beside of you. And as you're reading, write down the words. And then after you get done reading, I want you to try to figure out what those words mean by using your understanding of prefixes. So beside of the word, you might have the word um, reply. You would write down reply dash and then say to respond to a message or some words. Now, your next one for math, you're going to do greater than, less than, or equal continued. So what they've done is kind of made you figure out or want you to figure out the expanded form and then compare it to each other. So if we look at this first one, we have 600 plus 4 plus 60. So 600 plus 4 plus 60 is 664. And of course, you could work that out. And then you're going to compare it to 50 plus 5 plus 70, which would be 755. So your job is to figure out which number is bigger. And of course, you would eventually figure out either by drawing it out or just knowing that 775 is the biggest of the numbers. Now it does break it down to a little bit different here. It says 43 tens. So if I have 43 groups of 10, what would my number be? So just think about if I had 43 10 six and I counted up by tens, that would be 430. So which one's bigger, 430 or 564? Now let's look at stats. We have matters, properties, and change still. You're going to take your bowl out of the freezer and put it beside your bowl on the counter. What do you notice? Describe the changes that you see. Now you're going to check the weight of the two bowls by picking them up. What can you feel? What has changed about the volume of the water in the bowl? Mark it on the bowls. Why do you think these changes have happened? So you're going to think about all of these questions and you're going to record your thoughts and observations and you're going to talk about your answers to the above questions. So you're going to do that in your notebook that I've included. You're also going to include an illustration. And the last thing you're going to do is to get your heart rate up just like every day. Thank you for listening.